This is a 3.3 million euro project that's um, led by Imperial College and it's developing a revolutionary new material that does two things simultaneously. It carries mechanical load and also stores electrical energy. What we have here is a carbon fibre laminate containing a multifunctional resin we've developed and we've connected this to a battery to charge it and we will demonstrate that um, by then discharging it we can light this light. So if I firstly charge the device for about 10-15 seconds and then when I discharge it you can see the light comes on. This material will be used to replace existing metallic components in a car, things like the wheel well, the bonnet, um, the roof. And we'll use our material to uh, replace, partly replace the battery. Um, so it will not only deliver electrical energy, but actually carry mechanical load at the same time. Um, and then ultimately, well, this material could replace the battery, but in the very far future. Ultimately, this material will be used for weight saving and volume saving. Um, within the project we're looking at a 15% weight saving but in the longer term this could be larger it will also give you more room in the car and something else we're quite excited about is the fact that we'll be able to save on wiring within the car so for instance your GPS rather than having to run off the battery which is far away from the GPS the casing of the GPS could store the energy to drive the GPS so less wiring in the car and, and less electrical faults and problems with that type of thing this material is going to offer big weight savings and volume savings. Uh, so we're anticipating that not only in car structures, but also in um, aircraft structures and, and more about mobile devices. Things like your mobile phone, for instance. At the moment, maybe about 50% of the volume of the phone is in the power source. With our material, you could get rid of that power source, the battery, in, in the very long future, and end up with a phone, say, the size of a credit card, for instance. Alternatively, we could keep the battery in there and have phones and laptops that last a lot longer, because at the moment that's the limiting factor in using uh, mobile devices.